world of sport. But he's uh, been in good touch this season and he's off the mark here with that boundary. Well, nice exhaling of breath for Laxman. The ball played pretty comfortably. This is a little bit wide. Uh, he's a tall man, uh, VVS Laxman, so able to guide it past Gully for a boundary. And there is a face that only a mother could love. And Sidhu off the mark. Got two 60s in the first test in Chennai, so he started the series off particularly well. Run out in the first innings and then dismissed in the second. And he'll be pleased to be off the mark. Yes, he will be. This is uh, a well-taken run. Sidhu running like a hare, wants to get off the mark. Lovely shot, straight to the boundary. Paul Wilson, as he does quite often, drifts into the pads. And on a good pitch against the players who play well off their legs, that really is a dangerous way to bowl. Well, you don't really bowl to the Indians on their pads, and particularly not to Hyderabad batsmen. VVS Lakshman's big hero is Mamad Azaruddin. Mamad Azaruddin is so good at the ball pitched on his pads. Lovely shot. A better length, but the wrong line, and you need to have both right. And this outfield very fast again today as it was yesterday. Outside edge. And four runs, but a good delivery from Paul Wilson. Got it in the right area. Got the batsman coming forward. And created a genuine edge. That'll be four. Well, the signs tell it there. Four runs. Greg Blewett just straying on the legs of Sidhu. And uh, this fine leg, very square. No chance of cutting that off. Ball racing away to the boundary. Well timed. Yeah, ball racing away over this quick outfield. Batsman just leaning on the delivery, using the pace of the bowler. Very quick outfield. Just using the pace of the delivery there, picking a gap. Backward of point, Michael Slater does his best. There's the ball racing across this wonderful outfield here at Eden Gardens. India now move along to 37 at no wicket. Lovely shot there from Laxman, just uh, making sure he got it past the fielder. It's going to break up today or tomorrow, I wouldn't think. Most favoured option. Sidhu's picked up a few runs behind third man. There is no third man to the moment. He can get the ball through the slip cordon which is not very thickly populated, he's going to get four. Yes, he played that very well, Sidhu. He got there in position, and there was not a great amount of pace in the delivery, so he got there, and you can see that he then pushed his hands at the ball and guided it through that area. And as we can hear the applause, Shane Warne will come on for Australia from the high court end. That is a super shot. This tells you why this young man is an outstanding player on the onside. We saw a back foot drive from Steve Waugh yesterday which brought the crowd to its feet. And this is the shot of the morning. Just a flick of the wrists and just raced down past mid-on. And Paul Wilson just watching that go to the boundary. Lovely shot, most difficult shot to play. Now at the clubhouse end, it's going to be the off spinner, Gavin Robertson. Oh, a lovely shot. Beautiful placement. It's not that uh, Nojo thinks that he only plays the uh, lofted uh, drives off the uh, off spinners. 
is very good using his feet. This time he didn't have to because the ball was pitched up in the slot for the drive. But look at that footwork, the foot going to the pitch of the ball and then, of course, finding the gap. Beautiful. Right to the pitch of the ball. Lovely follow-through of the bat. Nicely tucked away there by Sidhu. Showing that it's not all power and brute force with him. You find today captains giving a lot of runs away in, by keeping that third man position uh, vacant. The new ball when it's moving a little bit away, the thick outside edges go between gully and, and fourth slip for boundaries. Nice shot that from VBS Lakshman. Once again pitched on the pads. And uh, we've been saying over and over again, don't go to the Indians on their pads. They are very, very good players at anything pitched on their pads. Look at this, getting to the pitch of the ball very nicely and then finding the gap beautifully. Well, Shane Warne is a good enough bowler to adjust. He's discovered that uh, Laxman is a very, very good onside player, even when the ball is spinning from the leg. Nicely struck, but McGill, well, he was there, but it's got through his hands. Eighty-six without loss. This is beautifully played once again. Uh, VVS Lakshman hitting it just wide off the bowler. A bad bounce there for substitute Stuart McGill. Australia lost four wickets before lunch yesterday. India no wickets and ninety-five runs. And he's gone after it. Sadhu is an aggressive player against spin bowling and he really backs himself against the off spinner and the leg spinner on this occasion. He's flayed the ball through the offside. Yes, yeah, Sidhu quickly onto this one, picked up the length, right over the ball, picked the gap, and that ball just racing away to the boundary. Paul Wilson will bowl from the high court end it to Sidhu. Wilson spinning a few minutes off the ground with a lower abdominal strain, but that seems to be okay. Well, that'll bring up Sidhu's 50. And this crowd will give him the generous applause that he deserves, as do the Australian players. So Navjot Sidhu, whose test career was on the line before the test in Chennai, has brought up his third consecutive half century against Australia. His 1450 in test cricket. And that partnership now goes to 104, which is a new record for India here in Calcutta, beating Roy and Mancad way back in 1951-52 against England. So he celebrates with a lovely shot of his pads, which will bring up three runs or maybe four. It's the latter. So Vivius Laxman, just too shy of his, his half century. Shane Warne, the bowler. In the air. One. Gets it away. Back with a point. It's a hard chase for the fielder to just get there. Two more runs. And consecutive overs bring up the half centuries for the opening batsman. Much bigger crowd than yesterday, and there's still plenty outside the ground. That's his line of attack, and it's gone over the top of mid-off. Two bounces over the fence for four. So Warren enticing the shot through the offside by Laxman. And Laxman equal to the task. And the man at short cover, so he decided to go over his head. There's yeah, Shane Wayne. Warren flighting the ball. Laxman this time decided to go in the air. This ball lands right on the practice wickets. Bang. One bounce. Two bounces over the fence. And lovely shot. Shot of the day. You don't hit them any better than that against the turning ball. And just the balance and the poise of Laxman at point of contact was exquisite. Well, it's amazing what happens in it when you get after the bowler. Shane Warne, not used to this treatment, had to change his line. And no third man races across the practice pitches. And when it hits those practice pitches, doesn't slow down. 
a lovely shot. You're in good form and you can actually force the ball through the gully area like that without playing a cut shot. And what a catch! No, not out. Well, the reaction of the fieldsman and the batsman was one of the spare. And he took away the mid-wicket. And what an effort by the Australians. We talked about their fielding, Jeffrey, but... Great effort to end the over. But another boundary to Lachman, this time through the onside. So nine runs from his over.